So this week's class is staple tree crops, a carbohydrate protein mix crops. So we're gonna be talking about peach palm, jackfruit, uh, Pacific bread nut, and Malabar chestnut. So here we have a very large jackfruit tree. Um, we'll be talking a lot about pruning uh, to keep things uh, harvestable. So this, this jackfruit tree here uh, has been let get pretty tall. The jackfruit in the same family as uh, breadfruit. Um, we get very large fruit. You can see there's some some very tiny young fruit on here uh, but some of these the fruit can get um, massive uh, weighing 30 40 pounds or more um, so harvesting them from very high up in the tree uh, can be a, a pretty pretty big challenge jackfruit tree um, the fruit is commonly eaten it is sweet but the seeds are actually a really great source of uh, protein and carbohydrate. Uh, so the seeds can be boiled, uh, the fruit can get very big, uh, so it has a lot of uh, sweet uh, uh, pulp that's edible, but it also has a lot of seeds that many people just throw away, or actually there's a lot of nutrition in that part of the fruit. So we can take those seeds, we boil them, um, and then we can make uh, jackfruit seed hummus, or just uh, dip them in some salt and then just eat them uh, out of hand. They're kind of like a, a garbanzo bean uh, mixed with a chestnut, um, in, in my opinion. But it's an excellent uh, staple tree crop. Uh, we'll be talking all about how to, to propagate, uh, harvest, use, preserve, um, all aspects of jackfruit. Uh, from the, the tree to the table. So I'm here with a breadfruit tree, but I'm talking about bread nut. Bread nut um, looks almost exactly like a breadfruit tree. They're very closely related, but bread nut has been selected for edible seeds, where breadfruit has been selected for the edible pulp. So bread nut is an excellent source source of uh, starch and protein combined. It's just as easy to grow as breadfruit. It can actually be grown from seeds, so it's even easier. You can just plant the seeds and grow the tree. Highly underutilized here in Hawaii, um, and they taste excellent. Very similar to a jackfruit seed. So I'm here with Malabar ch chestnut, or uh, a Pachira aquatica. Um, this, or, or Glabra technically, is this variety. Uh, there's some, uh, there's some confusion about the scientific name of this one. Uh, but these are edible. This is the flower. Um, you can see the leaf here. Um, it's also known as a uh, money tree. You see how it's, the multiple trunks have been braided together. That's purely ornamental. Um, it's, it's not necessary for the tree in any ways. Um, but this produces uh, seeds in a, in a pod. The pod will break open uh, when they're ripe um, and you can pick them up off the ground, uh, but they're very similar to a chestnut when they're roasted. Um, I think they taste similar to a peanut. And they're, uh, they're gonna have a high oil content and also a good source of uh, protein and carbohydrates. So we'll be talking about uh, Malabar chestnut in this week's class. Peach palm is the other crop we're going to be covering in, in this Saturday's class. Um, in South America, known as pejibe, it's an excellent staple crop, high in protein and carbohydrates, and super delicious. Very easy to grow, long-lived, uh, but highly underutilized. And when it, where it's grown in South America, it's a, it's a common staple, uh, but here people just don't know about it. So come join us, learn how to grow this amazing staple tree crop. So I hope to see you at Staple Tree Crops uh, Part 3 Carb Protein uh, Mixed Crops.